Hey everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and in this video I'm going to open my uh, kit for March from Studio Calico. And I also got a few other things because they had a few good sale items. Uh, that's one of the cool things about being a subscriber is that sometimes you get really cool deals. And there's something, there's something in here that was too good to pass. Okay. So the first thing that I thought was awesome was this kit and this is the February kit, the documenter February kit. And I already have this kit, I already unboxed it. I'm just gonna show you a few things like these numbers, these uh, acetate hearts, the stamp set, the cards. I'm gonna link the video below so you can check out this kit with a little bit more of detail and you know you can really see it and hear my thoughts about it but I got this kit again because it was five dollars it was one of the options to add to the kit and I absolutely love this kit I kind of wanted more extra numbers and I wanted more of these hearts and basically if you buy these two things you can like that that would be like five dollars if i buy them separately so the whole kit for five dollars i was like this deal is too good to pass and i almost got the january one too because it was also for five dollars and it came in an envelope a little busted not a huge fan of that but you know what i don't mind it too much uh but i thought that the kit was way the deal was way too good to pass so that's what I got this kit and they had other things but since I'm trying to behave and resist I didn't get them but I did get this ink I love their inks and this blue is so beautiful but I also got these and me get a little closer so these words are from the oh my god the traveler's notebook kit and I love the items from the traveler's notebooks they're really cool and I love these and how the design team used them too so I was really inspired to bite them and you know buy those and give them a try and I got this blue ink it's called chambray and it's like a periwinkle or like a faded denim color I'm trying to look for a stamp that is ready to use I don't have to prep like I do the rest of my stamps so I can give it like a little swatch and i have these here from the last video i made and those are from um everyday explorers so i want to check out this color okay in the that's because i'm not using you see sometimes i'm like maybe the pad it's like a safety blanket sort of thing, and I don't need it, but I feel like I need it. Much better. Um, so I thought it was going to be lighter from the swatch pictures, but I still like the color. I do wish that it was the lighter color that I saw in pictures. Maybe I'm inking it too much. No, that's too little. Well, but I still like it. I just, I had a totally different color in my head. Let's move these to the side to show you the March kit, which I remember from the sneaks being something super cute. Let's see. Let's start with these. Um, I was like at first like 
These are, no, yeah, they're letters, right? From Studio Calico? No, they're like squiggly lines. I wish that instead of having a border, they would just be like this. Then it would look less like a letter and more like a little, um, just like an extra detail to add. It's really cute. Love the colors. Oh, so sweet. Now this, I really like the colors. It's so cute. And it's very springy. Love the banners. I hope they have this pattern in a journaling card. It's really cute. Then we have these uh, stamps. And I also love the stamps from the Traveler's Notebook Kit. And I was tempted. I'm going to you know, admit to that. It was so cute. It has like some little tags. But I resisted. But who knows? Maybe later I'll check it out. But I do love these stamp sets i'm all about you know so sweet the sweet life all i need is blank and then you have like a date and location and how much you enjoy what you did that day and i love that stamp that section is really cool and then we have these gorgeous labels love the gig and well it's gang and right just or just squares i think it's gang and but and love these i said i've said the the first three months of this year i love that they're doing this and i'm going to compare the the ones from february this one of course has some um st patrick's theme items like i'm not a big on st patrick's but that's pretty cool. Love this pattern. And I love these letters. They are so beautiful. I love the font. And I love the numbers. And these colors are so pretty. They usually jump around different types of alpha stickers during the year. So I can't remember the ones that we got in January. But I don't know if they were like this. I don't think they were. But I love these. These are really cute. And then we have these die cuts that are tags. And the shape of the stamp tags that I mentioned were like this, like scallop. Really pretty. Oh, I love these. When I saw these, I was kind of like, meh. But now they're in my hand that I know the size, that they're kind of big. Because I think that when you see the whole kit... You don't really pay attention to like, oh, well, then this must be pretty big because if I put it next to the journaling card, then it should be this size, etc. So it's nice to see them real in real life. They're really cute. And I love the colors and different shapes. This is so cute. And they could even work for a scrapbook layout. Now let's open the cards. And here are the cards. Slightly bent from the envelope, but it's completely fine. So let's start with the three by fours. I love this one. I think someone like stamp on these little tags from the design team, and it looks so cute. And you see, this is the same stamp that comes in the kit. And this is exactly what I was thinking when I saw the stamp. Maybe you can put like a little photo below, or you can add some journaling and i would actually like uh, there are many times in the year where they have their one dollar digital sale and i don't know if they would have this one available but i would love to buy it in digital because then you can even make it bigger for a uh, four by six card that would be really cool and i love this color too love the little tags Blue skies for days. So pretty. Oh, that's cute. In my garden. And again, we have the one but with black. I love this. And I can even use the cards the studio call studio calico had for color theory. They were just like a dot grid and add that on top, and that would be so perfect. What I love about springtime. By the way, how crazy is this weather we're having? It's like full on spring. Feels a little early. 
you know, I know it's global warming, but it feels so nice. I feel guilty liking it. Love this. I don't know why I love it, but I love it. I, I think it's the opportunity to add something here and then add a little journaling. And I love this. That's what I got. These are so cute. And then we have the donuts. listed and at first i was like wait i don't get it white donuts for springtime but i think it's the colors you see lots of pink lots of mint very well hello i want to pause this moment oh this one is so cute i would wallpaper my house with that okay square donuts how do i feel about that they're cute they're cute. I'm obsessed with this. Oh my god, a journal journal with this as a cover? That would be so cute. Shoot for the stars. Oh, look, they did have the pattern. How cute it would be as washi. No, there's no washi for me to reveal, but that would be cute, though. Amazing. I love these pieces. We love board games which it gets violent it gets oh i love these colors this is like a whole mood board here happening march i love these do they have these in the other kit am i blanking the like missing stuff in my brain a little something sweet and i love how they use the o as ice cream and i think that here you can add wait no, I don't, I wouldn't, wouldn't do it, the circles are too perfect, but to stamp like little things here, or put little stickers, like puffy stickers, how cute would that be? Okay, let me do it real quick, because that would be too small, but something like the little froggy, that would be cute. Okay, now let's go to the 4x6 love this design with the two tags and this is something that you can also do with this pack of tags oh i like both sides i love hate when that happens because <laughs> you know you have two options but then you're like which one do i use this is really cute awesome how to be awesome today oh, i love this prompt it's so cute and so joyful. Love this 70s, no, like late 60s vibe. Oh, this is cute. Love both sides. Man. Hello, farewell. Oh, this is so cute. You see, this is another one that is go directly in my card when they have their $1 digital sales which always look out for those those are so good so let me see what's my favorite thing from this kit i really like the tags which i didn't think was gonna happen and i love the letters you see i thought that this blue would be a little bit more like this this is actually too light but going more in that direction i think i'm gonna say that my favorite item was the tags again it's another one of those items that really surprised me this is not the first time when i look at the sneak and i'm like eh. and then i see it and i'm like okay this is really cool so yeah that's my favorite item i'm kind of underwhelmed with the ink maybe it will grow on me maybe it's new and I need to really break it in. Again, $5 for these. Isn't that a good deal? They suck me in with a good deal <laughs> to make me buy another one. Yeah, I'll just blame it on them. It's them. How dare they make me spend money? Um, so, yeah, let me know what was your favorite item from this March kit. Very joyful, very light, very sweet. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're having an awesome day. Bye.